since we started this work, um, one of the consistent um, recommendations is that we bring science uh, and translate it so that everybody can understand what's being said and, uh, and understand the consequences that, you know, one action over here has another reaction over there. And it's not always bad, but just so that you know, okay, if we do this, this is what happens. So that's the main thrust of, of this symposium. Um, this is a, an Oceana organized activity as a part of Reef Week 2015. So you're seeing these kinds of presentations and field trips and you know classroom uh, sessions across the country this week. And we really organized this event today to make sure that people know what's happening. So we have talks about turtles, about sharks, about coral, about marine, uh, uh, ecosystem services, goods and services in general. And yeah, we invited the young people because at the end of the day, you know, what happens to those resources today plays a very integral role in the quality of life and what they get to enjoy and benefit from in the future. So we're hoping that everything comes together, the entertainment, the education, and, and the science and having everybody be on the same page. So we have Kira Foreman from the Hull Chan uh, Marine Reserve staff. She's talking about their work in terms of uh, turtle monitoring in terms of a nesting activity, uh, emergence, you know, how many turtles make it out of the nest and into the back into the Caribbean Sea. As you know, um, you know, for about every hundred eggs laid, only one or two turtles make it to maturity. So it's very important that we know what's happening in terms of the nests and, and so forth so that we can keep our turtle population strong. That's one of the big reasons why people come to Belize and why we get to have really cool experiences uh, in the water. We also have Ms. Lisa Karn from Fragments of Hope, um, a project that's based down south in Placencia and at Laughing Bird Key. Um, she's working with local fishermen and tour guides there um, to restore the Acupura palmata and up Acupura cervicones populations, that's the elk horn and the staghorn corals, which are very key in encouraging um, biodiversity of fish. And um, those uh, two particular species um, are sensitive to storms and, and other um, coral bleaching events and, and other things. So she's looking at how you know we can help nature along uh, respond, especially to climate change, which is one of the, the really big threats uh, to our marine resources. Um, Belize's corals are in better shape than, than most parts of the Caribbean, but they're not you know, as good as we can be. So she's looking at how we can help to make uh, coral species more resilient. Uh, we also have Dr. Rachel Graham from Mar Alliance, and she's going to be talking about sharks. And you know, we have one species of shark, the nurse shark, protected. Uh, but her work looks at a variety of, of sharks and seeing again how does that um, one creature play in, in the, the the way that. Uh, Belizeans, tour guides, uh, benefit from, from keeping healthy populations of sharks in Belize. We also have Dr. Ed Bowles, an uh, environmental science professor from Galen University. He's going to be talking about uh, ecosystem goods and services. Uh, last but not least, we have Dr. Isani Chan from Oceana talking about um, just where we are, general statements in terms of marine uh, environment and you know what do we need to make sure that we have beauty and abundance well into the future.